There's a new version of Android in town. It's Android Go. And this is Android 8.0 Oreo Go Edition. Long name, we'll call it Android Go for now. And it's designed expressly for entry-level smartphones. That's phones with less than a gigabyte of RAM. Is it any good? Let's take a closer look. So the first thing you're gonna notice is how regular it looks. It looks just like Android that you'll use on your Pixel phone. It looks just like Android that you'll use on an Android One phone. The differences are all inside. Android Oreo Go Edition is small. The file sizes are small. It's designed to run on small spec phones. So like I said, a gigabyte of RAM. The storage specs are expected to be eight gigabytes or less. So if we have a look in here under storage, there we go, this phone, this is the ZTE Tempo, um, and this has got eight gigabytes of storage space, and three has been used already. Now, bearing in mind, that's the entire operating system. There's Instagram on here, there's various Go Edition apps, which we'll come back for, to in a moment, but you've used three, three gigabytes of RAM for the entire operating system and an operational phone. And that's not too bad. You've still got a little bit left for your usual apps and music and video. So we've been flicking around the screen here that you can see, and the performance is actually fairly solid. Bearing in mind, this, the uh, Tempo Go, is gonna cost less than $100. So for the performance that you do get, that's pretty good. So let's go in to Assistant, which is a Go app, uh, adapted from a full-size Android app. So let's have a go. What's the weather today? That's how fast it is for a regular Go app on a Go phone. So we think that's perfectly acceptable. There's no waiting involved. It doesn't feel like a slow, cheap phone. You've also got a Go version of Google Maps. Again, a little bit longer to open, but once it's there, it's finding our location. And it's done it speedily enough that we can see where we are. Pulls in the data, and there we go. So not an unpleasant experience, which is what I think a lot of people assume a cheap phone with an old version of Android is going to be like. But the beauty of Android Go is, it's not an old version of Android. Android Oreo Go Edition gives manufacturers the freedom to put the latest version of Android on a cheap phone. And that is the, it's the best news that we could have about cheap phones and Android. That is Android Go Edition on the ZTE Tempo. But the ZTE Tempo's not the only phone you're going to buy. At the moment, on the Google booth where we are, there are six Tech Go phones. One made by Nokia, the Nokia One. Again, a very similar experience. When we spoke to Google about these phones, they've got six on display, but weren't entirely sure just how many of these phones were going to be unveiled at Mobile World Congress. There's a lot of attention and manufacturers are already adopting Android Go. This is probably one of our favorite designs. This is by General Mobile. So it has a much more modern look. This is still a plastic body, but uh, it gives a metal impression. And this is slightly speedier. There's definitely advantages of a slightly faster processor here. This probably won't be sold in the US, just like the one we saw a moment ago, the Lava, and with this one made by Micromax, Again, a very cheap phone, probably way less than $100, and the experience is slightly slower, but not by much. That is a quick look at Android Oreo Go Edition, the latest to Google's Android family.